Hello, my loves. It's me, Jazzy Mac. And today I have two different companies I am going to feature for you. Yes, they are going to be fully remote. And yes, they are going to be perfect for people that do not have experience. I repeat, you do not have to have experience. All training is going to be provided along with the laptop equipment. It's going to be provided. So we're also going to talk about uh, salary and we're also going to do the resume demonstration. So let's hop right in. I'm actually going to circle back to the CVS role because I want to hop into the other role first because I thought it was really cool. So the first role that we're going to talk about is going to be for a company called Scribe X. Now, if you've never heard of a medical scriber, basically they're the people that kind of follow around doctors and take notes um, when the patients are talking about like what their issues are, what's hurting them, stuff like that. Sometimes doctors don't have scribers that follow them around. Sometimes they'll do it uh, virtually. So there, it's like a little laptop that you may see in the doctor's um, office, like inside the little private rooms. And there's a person on the other side that you may or may not be able to see that is basically just taking notes, you know, so that the doctor can focus on the patient instead of like writing a whole bunch of stuff. So um, as a medical scribe, you get a bunch of training. So what's really cool about this particular role, um, I'm using Atlanta as an example, but they are hiring nationwide in the US. Um, and the compensation is up to $16 per hour and they pay you more if you have Spanish um, abilities to speak Spanish. So what's cool is you do receive paid training um, to master the EMR systems and patient documentation procedures. Um, you're going to work closely with a physician. So this isn't like you talking to customers or anything. Um, and you will also work for a company uh, that says it says they understand the medical school process. But if you're on a track to become like an RN or LPN, or you just want to get your toes wet and see what the medical field is about, you know, at a basic level, this is a really, really cool job. Now, again, we'll hop back over to the CVS job, but this one is just a really great way to be a part of the patient care team. So what you're going to do as a medical scribe is you're going to do chart prep. So the physician is going to uh, come to you or send you a message and say, hey, we've got patient, a patient in room six. Her name is Brenda. She's complaining about shortness of breath. Um, let's go ahead and pull her chart so we can get started. So you would pull that chart and they're, they're going to show you how to pull the chart. Um, and as the doctor is talking to the patient, you're going to just be documenting what the patient is saying. That's literally it. Um, you may enter in some lab information. Um, if the doctor is saying that they want to order some labs, um, but you're going to mostly be documenting and printing instructions for the patient for them to take home with them. Um, or you'll probably like email it to the patient and that's going to pretty much be it. So again, this position is basically something that if you don't have experience, it's totally okay. If you know how to turn on a laptop and if you can plug in an iPad, you are qualified <laughs> because they do, I think it's six weeks of training. It's four to six weeks of training that you will receive. It's paid training. Now it's great for those of you that are in, um, college. Um, and it says if you don't have any college experience, um, you can have three years of work experience. Again, if you don't have three years of work experience, they do train you. You just want to present yourself as someone that is highly trainable. If you've been a stay at home mom for the last five years, no problem. You've obviously got some medical experience because you've probably had to patch up a whole bunch of boo-boos on your babies. So um, don't let any of that intimidate you. The only thing that they're really saying that they want you to have is being able to type 60 words per minute, okay? Um, and that's gonna be it. Again, $17 per hour if you've got a year of scribe experience. If you don't have any experience at all, of course, they're gonna pay you a little bit lower. But again, this is a great way to get into the medical field um, or to get like that work from home experience, right? 
Um, so let's look at the resume breakdown of what I would put on my resume. Again, they're not asking you for a whole bunch, um, but you know, never lie on your resume or anything like that. But just for me personally, I want to make sure I've got my summary statement and I say something like, I'm excited to use my skills to serve as a medical scriber for Scribe X. Um, and the things that they called out in the description, the job description was the typing speed. So please make sure you've got, you know, somewhere on your resume that talks about your ability to type words. Um, 75 words per minute is a pretty good speed. If you can do anything faster than that, then great. That's awesome. You may want to call out any experience that you have with simple stuff like Microsoft Office Suite. Um, and again, call out if you have experience um, in other languages, you know, such as being a Spanish speaker, because that is something they said that they pay more for. So make sure that you call that out. Again, these resume templates are down below in the description box. If you are a part of the ultimate subscription, you already have have this in your library. You've already received the announcement. I placed the job link here so that you can directly apply for those of you that already have the subscription. So let's hop over to the other opportunity, which is going to be for none other than CVS. Now we've all been to a CVS, we're familiar with it, but this one is going to revolve around Aetna or Aetna for all of those people out there that want to correct me. Um, CVS did acquire Aetna. And so this particular job role is going to be on the Aetna team. So here is the job and it is for a customer service representative dental. You would be on the dental side of the house. Um, handling those benefits sort of questions. So this particular job is, again, it's work from home. Um, it's going to be for Aetna. And you're basically going to take phone calls um, around, you know, provider information, or you're going to answer questions about the plan. You're probably going to do things related to, why did I put that there? That bothers me. Okay. You're probably going to do things related to talking people through their policy or their procedures related to the policy for if they wanted to file a claim. Um, you might get questions about how much coverage do I have for this dental benefit? Am I covered for this dental benefit? Um, and explaining their rights and responsibilities, you know, how much they might owe for a copay or something like that. Um, this is me guessing. Make sure you ask the recruiter for specific specific questions around these sorts of things. But what's awesome is the pay, 17 to 27.90 per hour. Please remember that all of these rates are always negotiable. Don't let somebody tell you, oh, they only pay me $17 per hour. Well, maybe that's because you didn't have much experience or maybe because you didn't ask for more. Remember, your geography, your geographical location and your experience and your ambition all plays a role in how much the hiring manager is willing to offer you. So again, this is going to be a combination of um, customer service, account management and some data entry. Um, because you will handle things like um, managing like claims. You may have to input some financial data. You may have to uh, put in some information regarding the coinsurance or the deductible. Um, you know, so it's you may have to do file reviews, all of this stuff you'll be trained on. The qualifications that they're asking that you have is just a little bit of experience in a call center or a retail center or a retail location. Retail could be anything from literally working at a clothing store. It could be working at a bank. Um, retail, like retail could even be kind of like fast food, okay? Or if you worked at a convenience store, just have some sort of experience talking to customers um, or making transactions with customers, okay? That's it. Education, high school diploma, you're good to go. And even if you don't have a high school diploma, if you've got a GED, still good to go. CVS will train you on everything else. No, you do not need this extensive like 
you know, billing insurance sort of background or anything like that, they will train you. They own Aetna. They will train you. Okay. So looking at the resume, again, this is already in your library if you have the ultimate subscription. But for those of you that don't, what I would generally put on my resume is any type of customer support experience that I've got, you know, chat support, email support. Um, if you've done any form of HIPAA training, you want to call that out. Um, obviously calling out like patient privacy training. Um, some of you have probably gotten this training, even when you were maybe in high school, if you ever like interned at, you know, the local hospital hospital <laughs> or the local um, like Red Cross, you probably had to do some sort of patient privacy or HIPAA training. So make sure you call those sorts of things out. Right. Um, and I always just like to put the name of the team that, you know, I would work with just so like it gets those are hot words. Right. It's a way to kind of, you know, just add in some hot words and of course, adding in CVS and Aetna, stuff like that. And um, they didn't really ask you to have anything else outside of that. But this is just in general how I would structure my resume. I would call out some of these types of words, of course, regulations, if you've ever had training in that, um, if you've ever taken like a course on any type of um, customer service, uh, patient service, um, any type of billing, any type of collections, um, any type of technical support, you're going to have some sort of regulations training if you've worked for a major company. Um, and knowledge-based articles, those are something that you always do when you're doing any type of online support. If you don't know what these things are, please at least become familiar with them. You know, Google or YouTube HIPAA training. You know, this is not saying that if you take, you know, some sort of YouTube training or whatever that it's going to replace any formal training. That's not what I mean, but it's just like familiarize yourself with it so that you can answer, you know, those interview questions and whatnot. So um, I do have interview questions that I've uploaded to your um, library for those of you that have that. Um, so I've even put in like sample answers that you can add. This was from the previous CVS um, job posting. So you should have everything that you need. Let me know when you apply for this. Until then, I will see you folks in the next video. Bye.